With our BMS charge monitor having arrived, it was time to see if we could get the BMS to work with our batteries. On episode one, Tom referenced a fire circle. And this is our fire circle. We've got this wiring harness connected to many of the batteries, and some of them are going to be too far away. So we're going to need to extend some of these wires. Jason is dealing with all these shrink wraps here. This is the first time all of our batteries have been in one place together. So we're going to need to do some extending of these wires, because not all the wires from the wiring harness will reach. i got to stop using that word, because Tom always puts that horrible graphic up when I do. Want to watch me strip? Splicing these cables on to lengthen our BMS wires. Ran out of red heat shrink. Just getting a sorted color. Tom's putting the last connector yeah. together. We were taking each one of these sensor wires and then connecting them between each pair of batteries. If we have the time, we will hook them up to the BMS itself and then see what happens. You guys ever see Redneck Stonehenge? Not like in person. <laughs> haven't, haven't made the pilgrimage yet. So it should be clipped down. This should be the first one. What I'm curious about is what these things look like under the plastic there inside. Can we blow your mind, Tom? Look up what's on the inside of a 9 volt battery. I thought they were full of nerds candy. The last one, we're not connecting this to anything except for this little wire here. Yeah. You connect the positive out of every one of these battery packs. It goes into one of these red wires and then we plug that in the BMS. But we're not actually plugging this into a load yet. Whenever it has these sampling wires, this one should have three point whatever volts. And then it adds. This one will yeah, have, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's these little silver things. Mm -hmm. So we just take the multimeter probe and stick them on each one. It'll basically be an increment of one battery voltage for each one we go across yeah, here. Cool. So like 3.2 for each one. And then to defuse it, we cut the red wire. Okay, yeah, I have to start from the first red one. Hey, there Three, it is. 3.2. 6.4, 9.6, forgot where I left off, All right. 48. Okay, so now you want to have one on the first one here still. Oh, it's going to be awkward. Maybe, well, maybe well, two I people, one yeah. On the negative yeah. one there, and okay. just that one. I think we should stay positive. This is super fucking exciting. 98 volts. Awesome. Well, who's going to lick it? This is scary, because this could actually... Yeah. yeah, what do we want to do for safety? There's also oh, a, maybe, like yeah. a little power button on the BMS? monitor, but I don't think there's any buttons on the BMS itself. So that's got to be the power button, right? That's got to be the way it's controlled. Prepare for fire. Oh, I shouldn't say that. It actually <laughs> happened this time. Press the key to activate. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, shit. Signs of life. It says it's half charged. Should it be saying it's fully charged? Or I don't really I don't know. know how to read this thing. I, I, think the, I think the next thing we do is try the Bluetooth thing and that yeah. might tell us more. Last time we tested the Bluetooth app, we tried using an old tablet that was at the end of its life cycle. We couldn't get the app working, but that tablet was not exactly sent by God. We decided to test the possibility that the app works fine, but the tablet is bad. Jason volunteered his phone as a sacrifice. So this is the part where it forces you to share your location info all the time. You can delete it yeah. later, I guess. Have fun. Oh my god. Terms and conditions. Seriously remind users to pay attention to the clauses in this agreement that exempt Dong Wan daily from liability and limit user rights. It's Here. making me feel better that a much more modern Ooh. phone is having problems with it too. Oh, did it? We got it. Did it Holy fucking shit. do that on its own? So I take back some of the mean things I said about this app. All oh, it batteries. tells us all the batteries. They're all working. Some of them are just really low though. Like oh, that one is really low. Too. Yeah, that one's 2.26. Well, that might, the that one might also be a dud. Okay. Um, so noting battery 19 is low and we should check that one, especially with a multimeter. The others all appear to be in the same range. High and low protection, so we can program that. There's temperature protection too. So this is what we're talking about. This is where we're gonna need to test, yeah. Because these cannot be charged at zero Celsius yeah. or lower. And because I don't fully trust the precision of the temp sensor, we probably want to set it at like, four degrees celsius we might have to change this because i don't think that's right what Capacity. is 30 amp hours yeah that's uh it's not correct it's 100 hours, right? it should be um <laughs> we have a password for this no, thing um i wonder no. if there's a default it might be on One, a two, sticker three, four, on five, or six. something oh is of course. it course is One, it really two three four five okay it's set at 100 collect boards mum um, uh 
That's for when you need to collect the board's mother. Can you tell it low temp protect, set it to like four degrees instead of zero? Hmm. Oh, we can turn off charging or discharging oh. that way manually. Interesting. Some of the nice things about um, this test, we found that this the one here charge probably... monitor works. We got the Bluetooth to work. We got the BMS oh, to work. All but one of our batteries are operating at spec. And if we have to replace one battery, it's not the end of the world. And it's also possible that our connection is just bad and that we can fix that. Oh, it's low. Yeah. Once we have the wall charger, try charging the whole thing and see if that one gets full or not. Yeah. You want to try doing the balance? I think it calibrates it based on the first balance, though. Oh, does it? Well, uh, maybe we just leave it for now. That would be yeah. my recommendation. Well, maybe we don't do anything that we don't actually know what we're doing. <laughs> well, then I we mean, wouldn't be doing anything. <laughs> so, aside from battery 19, everything we tested worked perfectly. What are the next steps for our drive system? We're still missing one key part, a wall charger. We've been researching those, and we should have one ready to test in a video soon. Once we have the wall charger, we'll hook that up to our BMS and our batteries. Right now, both the app and the monitor say the batteries are at 50%, but we think that's just the BMS is uncalibrated default. Once we balance the batteries, the BMS should have a better idea of how many amp hours the batteries contain. We know the batteries' voltages are up to spec, and soon we will know if the amp hours are as good as we were told, too. That test will also tell us if battery 19 is just empty or if it's a lemon. If it's bad, we'll replace it. We'll also need to test our BMS temperature sensor for reasons we'll explore in an upcoming video. Show your support for mini trucks with a sticker from our store. We also have a GoFundMe. The links are in the description. And join us next time as we test our BMS's temperature sensor. Cool. Hmm. Well, we know temperatures. Yes.